Alright guys. So what had happened was I'm gonna tell you I'm gonna tell you the truth right now. I filmed a part one of this already. Alright? I filmed a part one to this. But what had happened was uh there's something wrong with uh exporting it out of the game capture thing, so I'm gonna just do it off of uh Let's just see what happens. Try this again. If it doesn't work, I'll try to use another software that I have. So, I uh, guess we're going to have to start all over again. Uh, I read that last time. I know you guys didn't see last time video. But, uh, if you guys want to read that, uh, go for it. So, we're going to... Yeah, as you can see, it's overriding. I, I played this game for a solid 20 minutes last time. Uh, and now that I have to redo it... It's kind of making me mad a little bit, but uh, what are you gonna do? Just do what I have to do and fuck it. Hope you guys enjoy it. This uh, this video or this this game won the pull over uh, Evil Within two, so I'll do Outlast one and two, and then uh, we'll see from there. Maybe I'll do another pull. See what you guys want to see. Other scary games. I got a couple. Uh, on my Xbox, so uh, if you guys want to check them out, uh, we'll do another pool after we're done with Outlast 1 and 2. Should be a while though before we do that. I'm thinking maybe in the summertime. That's when it'll be all kind of done and wrapped up. They're not very long games, they're just kind of scary and intense. Uh, I've played these games many times, but for some reason I get scared every every time I play them. So, uh, yeah. It's got those jump scares. I got my headphones on too, so uh, I'll probably be hearing things that sound like they're going on around my house and probably turn around and freak out every now and then so we'll see what happens basic premise of this is you're a journalist uh, you got called here's the email from uh, someone we'll play this DLC too there's a DLC for this game called uh, the whistleblower uh, and this email will make sense when we play that D DLC so uh, basically you're a reporter and you got uh, an email to come out to this and pretty much uh, tell these guys, you know, prove them wrong and stuff like that. Like, basically, like, these guys are corrupt and stuff. So, uh, your only choices in this game are to run, hide, or uh, get killed. Can't fight back or anything. So, yeah. Should be fun. I somewhat know this game like the back of my hand, so we should be alright. Uh, we'll see, though. See what happens. Of course, they close the gate, whatever it is. They close the gate, something close the gate. Why is it always like impossible to go in that room? Like, even when I play this the first time around, it's like, what the fuck? So, yeah, you record. Basically, this camera is your best friend. You start. There's going to be a lot of dark parts in this game, uh, and the night vision is your best friend. Um, I will say this, that Outlast 2 graphics are way better than this, but still, for this game being of its time, I think like 2013 or something like that, uh, the graphics are still very good uh, from when it, this game came out. Uh... I remember when this game first came out, I was, like, obsessed with trying to get it. I watched all the walkthroughs and stuff like that, and I finally got to play it. Uh, one of the best playthroughs I've ever played. I, I really like scary games and, and scary movies and stuff like that, so when I got this game, it was just... It was only right, you know? I look forward to it. And this is where I talk about the night vision comes in handy. As you can see, they always uh, blast up the music to make it even scarier, a little bit more mysterious. Like if someone's gonna come and get you. And boom! Got a poltergeist here, obviously, it looks like. Of some sort. Squeeze through. Move towards the gap. Always look in rooms. Batteries are your best friend in this game. That is a must. Uh, and I always look in other rooms just to just to look around. So you can, and then you can collect these like files and stuff, get achievements and stuff like that. Uh, there's obviously someone occupied in there. You'll see why I got in here in a second. Because of weirdos like that. 
they will try to kill you in this game. Uh, there's a lot of couple. There's gonna be a couple jump scares, I think, right now. So why was he screaming if he was already dead? That's what I, I'm kind of curious about. Uh, I've always been curious about that because he he just screamed out of nowhere and he's already dead. So uh, why you why why why? Then you got this guy. They killed us. You got out. The variants. You can't fight them. So they're called the variants. You have to hide. Actually, as much as, much time as I've, I've, I've played this, uh, I've never paid attention to that guy, honestly. Like, So it's good to know that they have a name as that guy. What's actually funny right now is, watch, I'm going to turn around. He's not going to be there. The minute I squeeze through, okay, so this is before I squeeze through. There's no one there. And then he comes out of nowhere. This guy is one of the main threats of the game. He constantly chases after you and does shit like that in this game, and he will kill you instantly. It is fucking bullshit, but it's part of the game. Uh, this guy is another one of the villains of the game, and he is just straight out annoying. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that right now. I, I see. He's a crazy Merciful person, God, acting like a priest. Even though his cross God, is literally straps son. from his you costume. <laughs> so, yeah. By the way, uh, these are going to be raw and uncut uh, footage. The only thing that's edited in is the intros and outros, and if I put pictures on the screen or something like that. Other than that, these are all raw and uncut, so... I uh, hope you guys enjoy me getting scared. Uh, I know I won't get scared for the first part uh, up until what I do. Uh, but as the game goes on, there's going to be probably parts that I forget about that will get me. So only time will tell, right? Uh, okay, yeah. So yeah, you get files throughout the games. Uh, okay, there's a guy in the wheelchair. Uh, we'll meet up with him in a second. He won't do nothing right now. Even though his breathing is very disturbing. These guys really don't... I guess it's just some crazies that are just kind of like, yeah, we don't really care, dude. Just do what you gotta do. I don't think we're in Kansas anymore. Remember the first time I played this game, I thought that guy was going to jump out at me, because why the hell not, you know? Uh, same thing with this guy, when you come and get the battery, I thought he was going to jump at you too. He doesn't. They just do that because they know they're going to fuck with you. Uh, so yeah. I thought uh, playing Outlast would kind of mix it around with the channel a little bit. I know that I am... Uh, Doing the same stuff constantly, and uh, I'm just trying to switch it up a little bit. Something big. Ah! Get me I, out! Kind of scared. Really not just talking about it. Now he kind of won't bother you anymore. Uh, I don't know why he did that in the first place. He was sitting fine on the, the chair before. And I do remember, though, I was playing this last time, and in this restroom over here, there was some batteries. Like I said, guys, batteries are your best friend in this uh, this game, so get as much as you can. I know on uh, higher difficulties when you play this game, uh, the batteries become more and more uh, complicated to find. And then there's, uh, I think there's one playthrough where you just don't even get batteries. Or you get a certain amount of batteries and that's it. So, you gotta just survive on what you have. So be very consistent with your camera. Uh, I think there's one whole part too where you're actually in the dark the entire time. Which, uh, sucks. 
Uh, there's actually one difficulty on this uh, game too, where um, you. Okay, that kind of. I'm not gonna lie. I forgot all about that guy. He scared the shit out of me right now. Uh, there's one difficulty in this game where you. Um, if you die, that's it. Um, you don't get uh, any resets or anything. You gotta start the game all over again. Uh, don't want to play on that difficulty only because I will get pissed off and just throw the controller. Uh, and I know you guys would probably love to see that. But I don't want to do that because that would legit piss me off. So, yeah. We're going to go turn on this. Uh, we're going to mess with this uh, security console here. As you can see, my guy is just terrified of uh, just everything right now. You would too if you saw a bunch of dead bodies. And then there's the priest again. He wants to be a dick, so. Alright. Now you want to come in here. Even the freaking game is telling you hide in the locker, don't try to fight. I don't blame him. Remember that big guy I was telling you guys about earlier? I'm about to see him again. Just doesn't give up. The one thing I love about this game too is they only check one locker and they don't check the other one. Looks like their brains are not all there. Um, so yeah, that always made me kind of laugh. back and go that way so I'll wait a couple seconds until he does what he does and then get out So this is where the night vision actually comes in handy. At least in this area. Um, I have a little strategy always for this area too, so it always works out for me. The name of the game is Quickness, and it works out every time. Who's there? Who's there? Yeah, so you're going to hear that guy a lot. He'll come and mess with this for a little bit. Um, the strategy I'm about to use always worked. <laughs> it worked when I did this the first time around. I didn't actually discover this strategy until like when I was bored one day. I was like, I'm going to play Outlast. And I played Outlast, and this is when I discovered this strategy. So there's these two pumps you got to put on, and then the control switch, and then the main pump. Um, but you got to be fast. Let me recharge these batteries real quick, because... So I'm just gonna hide here. We'll be fine. All right. Hopefully, I see the glitch again. Usually, the guy glitches in the door, and that's how you know he's about. To there it is, right there. He's about. To do his round and then he'll leave and then I'll get out and he'll turn on the fucking main power. Although he doesn't know I'm here. Well, I like to keep it that way. <laughs> Up to heaven, went away. See, these guys are crazy. They are. They just, they're insane. It's funny to me, but uh, it's there's people like that in real life. Hey, look at that. I didn't catch that the first time around.
I don't like how he slams the door. That's not a cool thing to do. Especially in a situation like this. Then we're going to hide in this locker because he'll be on his way right now. Because he knows I flipped the switch. I don't know how he knows, but he knows. He's a psychic. I don't Turn the camera off for a bit. Got to recharge the batteries when I get out. And we'll know that he comes in right now because he'll knock down the door. This just had bad horror movie written all over it, and it makes me laugh every time I play it. It really does. There he is. Chuck one locker. He won't check this one. Oh, it is, buddy. Just another ghost. My guy breathes so loud, I can... I'm hearing him breathe in my freaking headphones, and it's just... It's... it's... to me yet. It is now. <laughs> Woo! It's always a close one, man. Always scares me to death. Always does. Alrighty. How are we doing on time? We're good. Oh. That is a big ass thing. I don't think he knows what he's doing with it. I'm sorry, my son. I didn't want to have to do this to you. But you can't leave. This guy was honest. There is so much yet for you to witness. Will you see it? Can you? Our I made this uh, comment last time. Rider, that's the same symbol that uh, one of the members of Led Zeppelin uses. And that's actually a demonic symbol. And the only way wow. out of this place is the truth. Accept the gospel, and all doors will open before you. Here we go to another area. I uh, just realized that I was trying to import a video as I'm doing a video and uh, wasn't importing, so that's good. Could have been done by now, but whatever. Of course, my ass goes immediately toward him. Just gonna close that for you there, buddy. There you go. Who's this? Maybe if 
Father Martin's man. All right, they're they're naked. He looks nervous. I would like to. They're naked. They were naked. Wasn't. I'm gonna close that for you. <sighs> this this game, man, it just has something weird every corner you do. God always provides a way to follow the blood. How is that at all a good idea? Just, just, I don't know how that is a good idea at all. A battery? Yes, there is. Oh, what did I... Just wasted a battery. That one was on me. What's up, dog? Killing people? It's cool. I'd like you to stay quiet. Dude, you got it. I'm just gonna go in here and pick up some stuff. Other than that, dude, you got it. I will stay quiet. Yo, this is all you, man. None of my business. Safe in a safe or in a locker, actually. See how this plays out. I don't know if he'll come this far. I'm gonna wait in here for a little bit, see if he comes this far. If he doesn't come this far, then I'm just gonna take off. I don't think he did. All right, we're in the clear. <laughs> oh. 
We're good still, dude. Alright, we're in the clear. I know he'll come in right now. There he is. I bet they. F I bet they figure since he, if I'm not in one locker, why would I be in the other locker? You know, it's just like, oh, he's not in one locker. Maybe he's not in that locker. I don't know, man. Should always double check. I'm glad they don't though, because I'd be scared shitless if they were. That's always a good idea, right? It's locked. That we did. I'd say you were more paragon They're gone. Battery, nice. Good thing I came in here. Usually find batteries around like uh dead people or like uh like radios and stuff like that, which makes honestly the most sense, but I need a key. Dude, that guy just ripped out his fucking head like it was nothing. That is very scary. Thanks for the key, man. Appreciate it. Right. Alright. So, yeah, now we go to the showers. No battery there. Exit through the showers. We'll see. Tefu said that he thinks we're assholes. That's pretty great. I'm gonna keep following the blood, if you don't mind. This is gonna be fun. Get 
up there, man. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to end it right here. It's about to get good, too. So, if you guys want to see more of this uh, Outlast um, gameplay, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Leave some comments. See what feedback uh, that you guys want. Something different. I don't know. Uh, just let me know in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next video.